Hi everyone, Cheryl here today with a sweet little project. It's a tea bag dispenser box that I made for the Robin's Nest Creative using some dew drops on it to decorate. And then I did use a little Kadoodle Bug Designs um, gnome, Valentine gnome mailbox, I believe is what he's called. And then some of the, some die pieces and some cutouts from the SVG file. And then I decorated the lid. So the lid comes off and your tea bags go in. This is going to be a little gift for Valentine's Day that I made. And so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to put that back there. So the first thing you'll need is you'll have to cut your papers and you'll need um, your scoreboard. And then you're going to need your base for the base of that. It's going to need to be eight and three quarters by 12. And then I'm gonna give you the lid. The lid is three and seven eighths by five and seven eighths. So we'll go ahead and just start with that first. So we're gonna start with this base piece. And on the base piece, we're gonna start scoring on the 12 inch side. And so what we wanna do is score at three inch. And then we wanna score at five and three quarters inch. And then we want to score at eight and three quarters inch. Let's see if I can get that. Eight, eight and three quarters. And then we want to score at 11 and a half. Whoops. Let's see if I got that right. 11 and a half. Okay. And then we want to flip this to the right because now we're going to do our score marks here. So we're going to start with the three inch. And so the three inch mark is going to come all the way across, right? And then we're going to go ahead and score, let's see. And then the two and a quarter inch is going to go to the first line. So we're going to go two and a quarter. So we're going to take this two and a quarter and just score to this first line right here. And then we want to flip it over. So now we're on the back side. So we flipped it over and we're going to do the two and a quarter inch to the third line. So we've got one here and then two. And then this is our third line. So basically we have a two and a quarter inch and we didn't score it on this piece right here. And so we've got that one to the third line. And then we're gonna go score the four inch. We're still on the back side. So we're gonna score the four inch to the second line. So we have one line here, and then this is our second line right here. So we've just scored to this one, okay? So hopefully you could see that. So that's what I have done, okay? So we have all our scores on this one. So I'm gonna put this back right here and now we'll go ahead and score the lid. So the lid again is three and seven eighths by five eighths and we're only gonna score a half an inch on all four sides. So we'll go one, so half an inch. And this is gonna create the inside of the lid. So whoops, uh-oh, half an inch. I messed that up, but that's okay. So we just need that line right. So that's second line. Okay, so that should be fine. Okay, so that's our lid. And let's get this out of the way. Alrighty. So let me move that for now. And then I want to go ahead. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we want to do our cuts on this. And so, let's see if I got the right side, yep. So we are just gonna cut out this bottom piece right here. So when I say, we're gonna cut on the line and we're gonna come up to that first score. Actually, let's come down, we're gonna come to the second, okay? Because we might as well just do that cut now. Now we're just gonna cut off this one piece at the bottom. So see, we have a little flap here, okay? So then we're gonna come over to this side and we're gonna cut, again, we're gonna cut straight up to that little line right there. And then we'll come over 
And we're going to cut, we're going to cut all the way up to here. So we're, we're cutting off all these scores on this side. This is where the half inch mark is. And so we're going to cut, we want to cut those just right like that. Okay. And then we're going to come back and we're just going to cut right here. So this little square off the bottom, and I save my little pieces. Okay. And then we can come in and do our folds. So we'll start, let's start with these little flaps. And then we'll just get all these folded. And we've got the little one here. And then we're going to fold here and get our fold there and just press those all. And I think we've got everything. Okay, so this is our base. So let's go ahead and put the base together. So you can use some score tape. You can use, I'm just going to use the half inch on these bottom pieces. And then I'm going to add a little bit of glue. So actually I wanted that at the inside and the glue on the outside but okay. I think here I'm just gonna use the glue. So these are super fun to make. You can decorate them however you want. My next one that I'm gonna do is um I wanna do some floral on it, just some some flowers and Maybe some ribbon. Oops. So I'm going to just add a little bit of this glue right here. And we'll add some right there. Okay. So this is our, this is going to be our bottom. And so you can just kind of line up that one edge and give it a little press because we're going to come back in and press it and then line up that edge. I like when I put the glue in with it because it gives you room to go ahead and move it without it just sticking and you and then you know if you don't line it up right you're like ah you got to take it apart and so on this one I'm going to use the quarter inch Oops. and my score tapes I ended up I ended up buying these from really reasonable ribbon. And my glue, I ended up buying that off of Amazon, I think. Um, I think the price was really good. Let's see if I can get that where I want it. Hopefully I'm in the, in the view. Okay. So... I'm going to go ahead and get that pressed really good. And then press that bottom. Okay, and so we're going to just set that aside to dry. And so we have our base done. So now for our lid, we want to just go ahead and give a little snip here and one here. Just to the line. Um, because this is going to be the lid. Okay, and then we can go ahead and do our folds. Let's see if we get the folds done. There we go. Okay, and I think I've got, got them all. Okay. And this one I'm just going to do the glue on. I would probably, if I'm taking my time to do this without a video, I'd probably add a little bit of the tape and then some glue. Oops. Okay, so there's that one. There's that one. 
this glue though is really sticky. If you get this on you, you're going to be really sticky. And it takes a little bit longer to dry, but it is a good glue. So I do like it. Probably didn't need to use that much. It's probably okay. Yeah, because I've got it coming out. I could see it. That's all right. All right. Let's see if I can get those to stay really quick. Oops, the art glitter glue dries pretty quick, but yeah, this one's just giving me a pain right now. I think because my fingers are all sticky, so we're going to let that one set aside to dry. Okay, let's move that. So we have the lid now. So this goes on the inside of the box. And so that's that. So for our next pieces. So for the bottom and the top, I cut out. Where are my pieces? Oh, here they are. Okay, so I used the Spellbinders label ones, and I'm using the largest label for these. And you're going to need four coordinating cardstock for that. Okay, and then for the board, I just take, I save all the boards from like the design papers and the design paper packs and all that, and I save it because it's kind of thin, but it, it gives some um stability to projects so you need two of those you'll need two so we're going to glue all these to the front and the back of those and that'll create our that's going to create our top and bottom gosh see everything wants to stick to me now oh my all the because of that one glue I hadn't used that glue in a while, so, but I thought for this one, it would probably be good. So I'm just going to put a little bit of um, the score tape. I guess I could just use all glue, but I figured I'd use that. Probably do the other side. So we need to do both sides because we are, we're going to add, we're going to add our cardstock to both sides. The cardstock I'm using is American Crafts for this brown color. And I bought when I buy all my cardstock, I usually get it if it's American Crafts, I get it in the little bundles like the earth tones and all that. Okay. So we're going to Yeah. Get these just pulled. And let's hope I don't make a mess with this glue. Because this glue, this glue is different and it's been a while since I've used it. So maybe I won't come in so much. Okay, so let's just get that put down. And we can kind of move that a little bit. And then I want to take and just press that. Okay. And we're going to go to this side, and we'll pull those pieces off. Let's grab those with some of the garbage. And now we'll just add on some glue. Hopefully, if you want, you can just use all the score tape. It just, I think, would be faster for me in the video to do the glue okay and then if you have white edges don't worry you can come in with your um with your ink and just distress your edges and that's what I do and that way you don't see the white because there is a little white edge that you'll see and so we'll just get the bottom and let's get those put down Okay, and then we're going to do this side. 
I would probably either use all right and then we've got this one this one done too whoop so let me move that a little bit. Okay. All right. So those are done. So we have our bottoms done and our, our bottom and our top. And I've got glue. I'm going to use some, I'll spray some rubbing alcohol and see if I can get that off my hands. Because everything is sticking to me oh my gosh okay so we want to add this to the base to the bottom and so we're gonna do that now and i think i'm just gonna use i think i'm gonna use the score tape even though that one takes I like using the glue though and the score tape together, so I'm probably gonna just. Oh, you know what? Let's bring in. We can use this one on here because this will stick. So, this is the art glitter glue, and I'm gonna use it on here because that's what I used on that first one. I just didn't use it when I did it on the on the inside the bottom pieces the white because it this glue does not stick well to that um, it doesn't stick well to that uh, little board thing so we just kind of want to center it as best as we can at least try and then just come in with your little tool and you can press it down I'm gonna get that. Maybe too. There we go. I think that's good. Okay, this is cute. This is super cute. Okay, so we have our bottom done. I'll come in later and do the distressing on that. So this is our top piece. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna do the quick, quick way so we can get this done. So we won't kind of want to try to center this too. So kind of just turn it and see if that like centered. If it is, then give it a good press. Okay. There we go. So that's going to be your top. So we have our, basically have the whole thing done. So now it's just the decorating time. And let me put this on here because I'm not going to put my pieces together. I'm just going to give you the measurements for it. So let's bring this one back. So we have our front piece. And what the front piece is one card stock that measures two and a half by four and a half tall. And then you'll need your design paper piece to be two and a quarter by four and a quarter. And that's going to give you the front right here. So I like to do my sewing. So if I'm going to do that, what I do is I just take uh, any roller and run it down the middle and then I'll go do my sewing, add my dots, whatever. And then I'll attach this using the score tape to the box. So there's the front. So now I have two lid pieces. The two lid pieces are using the same label, the next two smaller sizes from the large label one. So that goes on the top. You can use a doily, you can do however you choose. So the side pieces are gonna be for the card stock, two and three quarter by five and a half. And then your design paper is two and a half by five and a quarter. And so that's gonna go on the sides here, or on this one, cause this one's a little taller. Okay, so those are the side pieces and then your back piece is going to measure two and a half by five and a half for your card stock. And then your design paper piece is going to be two and a quarter by five and a quarter. And this is going to go on the back of our little key holder. Okay. And I think that's it. And I think we've got everything done. 
And then you'll just want to decorate it. I think I'm going to decorate all mine a little differently. So probably on, on this one, I'm going to probably do some floral or maybe some strawberries or something. I'm not sure. And I have another one ready as well. And whoops, this one I'm going to do flowers on it. But this one's a little darker brown and then with um, some lighter pinks. And so you can just have fun with it. And so I hope you enjoyed my video today. And thank you for stopping by. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos, please follow. Thank you and have a good day.